Ótimo. Bertha, they call this the shovel. Look, I think it's because your feet get digging into the ground. You know what I mean? She's doing the shovel. <laughs> Say what? The shovel. There ain't no dance called the shovel. See, I told you you don't know everything. No sabes nada que porquería. Oh, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go see my mom at work, okay? Okay, see ya. Immigration, I'm taking you away. You went there? Oh, Marisela. I wouldn't let them get me. You know that. Don't worry, Marisela. We're all safe now. Try not to think about it, okay? Dream, huh? Are you all right? When are we going to see Papi again? Soon, mijita. Soon. How soon? When the war's over. Couldn't he just come here now? Oh, Marisela, it's very expensive to come here. You know that. I'm going to look for a safer job. I'm going to look for a job as a maid. A maid? It might mean that uh, I'll have to live wherever the job is, so maybe we'll both have to go there. It would be a nicer place to live. Maybe a very good school. to stay here with your cousin. You can.
aware that if you're always more than a half an hour late, that you're mentally unstable. Maybe my mom should go see a shrink. Stacy. Well, actually, she's only 23 minutes late. She's got another seven minutes to go. I think you're lucky your mom went back to school. I think it's neat. Isn't that a rad car? Glenda's brother is so cute. Stacy, he's two years older than you are. There's Roadrunner. Gotta go. Bye. Honey, where's the roast? Oh, Sam, come on, don't tell me. Oh, nuts. Dad! Is. So sorry. Please accept my apologies. Sam, you have the memory span of a turnip. She's right, you know, Dad. You forget everything. What did I forget? You forgot to sign my permission slip for the volleyball meet. Well, you didn't give it to me. I put it right here. Oh. <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. Stacy, I took your father's advice today and I went to an employment agency to look for a housekeeper. We're gonna hire a maid? A housekeeper. A live-in housekeeper. Still don't see why there has to be two of them. Oh, well, Stace, if she's doing this a favor of, you know, living with us, we can't very well ask her to leave her daughter behind. Besides, I think it'll be fun for you. Maybe she can teach you Spanish. Does your mother drive? Stacy. We didn't hire her to be your chauffeur. I know. <laughs> Mommy? Maybe it's not a good idea to write Poppy that you're going to be a maid. Maricela. He might not like it. These are no times when we get to choose what we want to do. We're lucky to be going there. Do you understand? And another thing I wanted understood, that you are to behave. You can't fool around there. They expect things to be very neat and very quiet, entiendes? I bet you're never gonna come back. That's not true. I bet you're not a color TV. You think so? I heard that they have someone up in the toilets over there. They do not. They do, too. It's, it's probably not going to be so different. of the 80s. I'm sensational Sam Gannon. That's him. The good stuff's coming up. Elliot Me, Hart, huh? Radio leader. Well, this is it. It's kind of small for two people. Oh, oh no, no, he's very nice. Oh, I hope he'll be comfortable. Gracias. Thank you. And, uh, Maricela, come in here. I want you to know that, um, I know how hard it is to come to a new house. So what's ours is yours. That means the radio, the TV, 
and feel free to raid the refrigerator anytime. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, class, this is uh, Marciela. Mar Maricela. Uh, Marciela Flores. You want to please take a seat? All right. Now, we are going to write a series of essays on the, mo on the modern trends in American social system. Now, I will write the first topic on the board. It is due next Wednesday. Not next Thursday with a note from your orthodontist, but next Wednesday. Now, how the women's liberation movement affected me personally. Okay, you can sit down. All right, what classes did they give you? Okay, English, Miss Kate, she's neat. Algebra, PE, social studies, Mr. Kyle, he is so cute. Okay, what's first? This is our whole work. What women's liberation has meant to me personally. Well, you see, I think what he wants is like, what does your father think of your mother working? I don't know. Well, does he think like, that women should work in general? He thinks both peoples should work. It's not peoples, it's people. Even though it means plural people, it's always singular. People. Yeah. Um, like in El Salvador, did your mom work? Yes, she was a teacher. She was? She was teaching mathematics. Oh. Um, well, like in El Salvador, did you do housework? Or did you, like, have to divide your house or gut between your brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Well, those are the kinds of things he wants to know. Um, have you done anything else? I haven't done the rest yet. Um, well, then let's do something else. Don't you want to do something else? No. Yeah. You sure? Well, um, then if it's okay, I'm gonna run over to Ricky's for a little while. He's got to take me to school, otherwise she won't pay for his gas. Not bad, huh? Cool. Oh, did you guys hear that you two's coming to the sports arena? The three of us ought to get tickets. 
Yeah, yeah. That, that would be good. That'd be great. We should try to get front row seats. Hi. Hi. Maybe we can try to sneak backstage. Yeah. Who was that? That was my maid. <laughs> That's cool. Stacy. Ricky, I was just kidding. We are going to have so much fun. Wow, oh, I can't wait. Tell me your top three groups, Maricela. Um, Cindy Lauper, Thompson Twins, and I can't think just three, many more. Do you like the Beatles? Oh, that's good. Oh, if you didn't like the Beatles, we'd have to ask you to move. <laughs> Thank you, Eugenia. Yeah. Thank you. Would you like to sit down and have dinner? No, thank you. I've already eaten. I'm home. Hi, hi, hi. Me, me. I'm sorry, I'm glad you didn't hey, know. Hi, hi Don. Mm. Hi, Marcella. So, did you get your test back? Yeah. And? 71. I hope you mean 81. No. Oh, Stacy. Mom, you even said it. You never need algebra again in your whole life. You know what this means about after school, don't you? No more volleyball for the rest of the week. Well, Maricela, how was school for you today? Fine. Hi, honey, are you there? Mom? Hi, sweetheart. Um, could you spare a second? I need to talk to you. Sure. Hi, 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 hi. Um. I told Marcella that she could go to the movies with us tonight. Oh, Stace, that's nice. But I don't think it's going to work out. Mom, Linda's kind of prejudiced. Kind of prejudiced? Well, she thinks that Marcella's a Mexican. I told her she was Salvadorian. Well, what does that mean? It's okay to be prejudiced against Mexicans, Stacy? Mom, I didn't say I was. I, I said know, she was. I know you said that, and I don't think you should be friends with somebody like that. Mom! Stacy, sometimes I, I worry. I look at you and Walker, and I worry that you think that because of the way we live that everybody lives like this, and they don't. You live a very privileged life, honey. I'm saying that I think that knowing Maricela will help you to be aware of the real world and making friends with her will enrich your life. And I really want you to try and do that. Okay. Okay. Well, then let's lose her. Glenza, I can't. Then you sit with her. Why can't we just all sit together? She's nice. You'll like her. No way. Are you coming? Where'd they go? Let's go. Come on! Come on, I'm gonna go for a ride. Come on, please. 
Identification, please. Okay, let's go. Wait, where's Marcella? Marcella! I mean, what is it going to take to give you some concept of the word responsibility, huh? You're two hours late. Mom, it wasn't my fault. Mm. From now on, we are going to pick you up. We are going to drop you off if we are free. Mom, Marcella saw the cops. That's why we're late. What? Marcel saw the cops and got scared. That's why we're late. Is that true, Maricela? You were scared of the cops? Yeah. She ran away and it took us ages to find her. Are you all right? I only ran away for five minutes. I'm appalled. I mean, we give you all this freedom, and, and this is how you treat us? You lie to us, and you blame it on Maricela? I'm shocked, Stacy. I can't believe it. Forget volleyball, forget the telephone. Not to mention any thought you may have had about going to the concert. Forget it. What happened? Did you have a fight with Stacy? <laughs> I know, it's hard. We're saving a lot of money this way. If we keep saving like this, maybe Papi could come by Christmas. That's only eight months away. Do you want me to tell him anything? I've already told him what a pretty lady you're becoming. Please try to get along.
is it, sweetheart? Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Hey, sweetheart, what's the matter? Did you have a scary dream? Oh, you had a scary dream. Thank you, Marissa. What's the matter, Maricela? Something wrong? I want to go back home. Where to? To El Salvador. Oh, sweetie. It must be so rough. You'll go back someday. Honey, Daddy and I have been talking, and we think we haven't been entirely fair to you in all this. Do you feel that we've pushed Maricela on you? Kind of. I thought I was doing something that could help us and help them at the same time. Well, it's not helping me any. I had no idea it would be this difficult. I, I should have talked about it with you from the very beginning. That was my mistake. It was too big a change not to discuss it with you and not to include you. Well, I have to go to school now. I'm gonna be late. This number. Four. Four. I'm in Spanish, you know what that is? Cuatro. Cuatro. I know. Craig was gonna take me to the concert. I can't believe it. She's not gonna let me go. He's not going to even remember that I exist. I got to go, Ricky. Someone is spying on me. Yeah. Catch you later. I just wanted to say I was sorry. I bet you're sorry. Stacy, you think you're so cool. You don't know anything. I know that you're messing up my life. I went out of my way to take you someplace with me. And you didn't appreciate it. I tried to be your friend, and you end up being just a big tattletale. You didn't want me to be your friend. You wanted me to be your maid. I'm not your maid. No, if I wanted to, it'd be real easy to get rid of you. <laughs> what could you do? Your parents want me here. All I have to do is pick up the phone and call immigration, and bang, you're out of here. You wouldn't do that. May I have the number for the Department of Immigration? I'll save you the trouble.
Maricela, what happened? You said I could go to Berta's house. Marcella! Marcella! Marcella, wait! Marcella! Maricela! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I wouldn't have really done it. You're just worried you're gonna get in trouble again. I wouldn't have really called anybody. I was just mad. People get mad sometimes. Catch the bus over there. Don't follow me. I just want to make sure you have some place to go. Then I'll go home. Where are we anyways? This is where I live. Goodbye. See downstairs alone. You didn't like it out there? But what about your mother? You left her out there. You said I could stay here. But 
She's gonna be alone out there. I know that. Okay. Look, um, my mom told me I had to go shopping. Is that okay? Sure. Sorry. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. I don't blame you. Why don't you just come home? When we get home, I'm gonna tell my mom exactly what I did. She'll know it was my fault you ran away. Why don't you just please come home? It's your home. It's not my home. I don't have a home. They bombed my home. They burned everything. Do you want me to go? I'll leave if you want me to. One day, we were going to the plaza, and we didn't know there was any problems or anything that day. And when we got there, everything was quiet. But then we see that the government soldiers are on one side of the plaza, and the guerrilla ones are waiting for them on the other side. I was with my mom and my little brother, and suddenly, my little brother goes running into the plaza. They didn't know it was just a little kid. So they shoot their guns anyway. I let go of his hand. I should have held on. Mommy told me to be careful. Sometimes I think she's still mad at me. No, she can't be mad at you. You don't know I was gonna run away. Aren't you gonna be lonely without your mom? Are my mom and dad are gonna miss you. I want you to come back. I know it's not your home. But I want you to stay with us until you get your own. You do?
sorry I'm late. Hi, Eugenia. Hello. Well, how did everything go today? Is everything all right? Ask the girls. Everything's fine, Mom. 